Hello, welcome back to Black Book Stacks. I'm your host, Tashana Sanders. Thank you so much for all of your subscriptions, your likes, your shares. I really appreciate them. Happy Black History Month. I actually meant to let my hair down because it is Black History Month and we are pumped about it in my house. It's really just me and my dog, um, but he's excited about it too. Um, so uh, I realized that I hadn't done a book haul in a little bit and so I thought I would do that um, this one came today it is called raceless and it is by uh, Georgina Lawton and it um, I think just came out um, maybe yeah so anyway it's it's from Harper perennial it's by Georgina Lawton and it is about uh, a black girl who is trying to sort out her racial identity and belonging because she grew up um, around uh, in a white family, essentially. So I'm excited to read this. Um, it's pertinent to something that I'm, I've been working on for a little while. I hope to get to share with you uh, at some point soon. Um, I also got Lose Your Mother um, by Saidia Hartman. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, but I love her work. Um, it is a journey along the Atlantic slave route and uh, it came out I want to say in it's been at least a few years yeah well it came out in 2007 um, I've started reading it it's beautiful so far um, Sadia Harmon uh, also wrote a book called Wayward Lives um, I forget the entire title but it came out more recently um, really beautiful history and um, definitely worth checking out sorry if my um, focus isn't what it should be because sometimes cameras do what they want to do um, but I really love Lose Your Mother so far I'm really enjoying it um, I also finally got 400 Souls uh, a community history of African America 1969 sorry what is happening in 1969 1619 to 2019 um look at this amazing list of people that are contributors which i just noticed it's amazing design and cover um there are some just amazing names in here um where do i even start uh, i am probably about a third of the way through um i really have enjoyed um learning more about new york city black history virginia law um and colonies of virginia um you know we do know so much more about the mayflower than we do about the white lion which is the ship that brought um, enslaved Africans here, the first one. Um, and so that's been illuminating to read, especially during this time and to delve into. Um, so definitely a good collection to have. And it just came out. Um, February, I want to say February 2nd it came out, but it may have come out um, on a different day. Yeah, I think it was February 2nd. Um, this is Lifting As We Climb, Black Women's um, Battle for the Ballot Box by Yvette Dion. Um, Yvette Dion is the editor-in-chief of Bitch Magazine. I have worked with her uh, over the years a lot, um, thankfully, which I'm grateful for. Um, this book has gotten lots of uh, attention. It was, I think, long-listed for um, a National Book Award. and. It recently won a Coretta Scott King Award, so I'm really, really proud of her. I can't wait to read this. Um, you know, I think there's so much that we know about, there's so much that we know about women's suffrage in this country, but we very rarely have people focus on black women's um, role in that. And so I know that Yvette, being who she is and the writer that she is, um, has captured it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Along those lines, I'm also looking forward to reading Vanguard. Um, I ordered this and Yvette's book um, and just excited to check out what Martha S. Jones has to say about um, 
the history of black women and their connection to political power, which obviously is getting a lot of attention now because of Stacey Abrams and what happened in Georgia, but you know, it should be on our radars all the time. Um, so I'm excited to dig into that. For something a little different for me, Legend Born by Tracy Dion is um, one that I ordered last year um, and I tried to start getting into it, but I got distracted by other books. So, but this is on my list. I love this cover. Uh, Tracy Dion and I are connected on Twitter, so I am just psyched to see her journey and to see where the book takes her and all of that. She also has a really cool kind of behind the scenes story about how long it took for her to develop the book and all of that. Let the Lord Sort Them by Maurice Chama. Uh, the Rise and Fall of the Death Penalty um, is uh, not the most, it's not the lightest reading, you know, it is about capital punishment, um, but I believe that Maurice is uh, a staff writer for the Marshall Project and he, um, he has been reporting on the criminal justice system for some time, so at some point I'll get to this, but I'm not there at this moment because I can't read about the death penalty right now. But I will, and I will let you know how that goes. A Black Woman's History of the United States. I have been wanting to read this since it came out. I think it has been um, a couple years. I don't know. It's been, it's been one year. So it came out in 2020. Um, so I am excited to dig in. Um, I have read all kinds of histories of the United States, but I have not read one that focuses and centers black women. So I'm excited to do that. Um, I may do some reading that incorporates black women during Women's History Month so that I can have all these thematic reads, um, together, but who knows? I'm trying to think of what else I've, I have on my Kindle app. Um, I think I, A Little Devil in America by Hanif Abdul Rakib, I want to say is how you say his last name, but I may be getting that wrong. But that's an essay collection I think is going to come out in March. I'm still reading Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge, which is lovely. Um, I started Milk Blood Heat by Dantio Moniz, and that came out February 2nd. Um, I'm listening to the age of surveillance capitalism very slowly. I actually have to renew, I have to renew it for a second time because um, it's so incredibly dense and like there's so much of significance in it. Um, Shoshana Zuboff had an op-ed in the New York Times um, that, you know, essentially like dug more into it um so that was cool to see but yeah it's a lot it's just a lot to take in um you know talking about the extraction imperative and turning information turning like living things into information that is then data that can be um, analyzed for the purposes of selling and for the services of capitalism like turning behavior behavioral um human aspects of behavior into things that can be things and information that can then be used to sell other things and information is just a really compelling thing to be thinking about um but yeah those are the that's the book haul that i have um, for mid-February. Uh, I am also, uh, as is my tradition, rereading um, Their Eyes Are Watching God around this time, um, just because it's a fun kind of love story to be thinking about and delving into. Um, so I may post a video about that. Um, if you have like favorite books that you like to read during this time, this Valentine's, Galentine's self-love, lovey-dovey eat all the chocolate time i would love to hear it but other than that that is what i have for you thank you so much for uh viewing and for showing up and for subscribing and i will see you again soon